Hey guys, up all here, and like to bring y'all guys another thoughts and kind of hype video. And this is gonna be about Soul Calibur Six and the return of Son Mina and Astral. I had a I had a feeling Astral was gonna return because it seems like this game once again is gonna be taking place across time, and it's about time we have like a grapple, a big beefy grappler style character in Soul Calibur. And I'm glad it's Astral because. I never really personally liked the dude, but I know there's Asaroth fans out there. I mean, he's a grappler. I mean, back in the day when I used to be playing Soul Calibur 2, I forgot who used to be. So I know my brother's character is Nightmare. There used to be someone that used to torture me with um, Asaroth. So, but I'm glad he's made it in. I'm glad that he still has that big beefy. He kind of looks. Similar to a Soul Calibur 2 incarnation, which is, which I'm glad for because that's probably the best looking one. But I'm also really glad that Song Mina made the cut, and I also like the fact that they're really making her different from Keelik. Because the thing about Song Mina is that Song Mina and Keelik play way too similarly, which is which is fine because I mean th there's a back and forth which character got introduced to the Soul Calibur series first, which I think Song Mina did because she was a Soul Blade, but Soul Calibur, I don't think it's canon to Soul Blade, so Keelik and Soul Mina were introduced at the same time. But I know there's a lot of Soul Mina fans out there, and I'm really glad that she's returned. It also seems like I also like the fact that her um, Critical Edge is kind of like like a little mini tornado that she summons the wind and everything. So it's good to see that these characters have returned. Like I'm really glad that they're starting to bring back everybody's main because it seems like Soul Calibur 6 is, is going to be a very long time type of game where you'll see it, it won't be going away anytime soon. It seems like it's going to be built like a platform like Tekken 7 because Tekken 7 just announced their second season of DLC. But going back to Soul Mina, I'm also glad that she kind of retains the Soul Calibur 1 look where... I don't know, I had nothing against the Soul Calibur 2 look, especially like the big dress. It's just, so Mina's meant to be fan service, yet like an Amazon in a way. So, I'm glad that she's returned. Asaroth looks big and beefy as usual. And, I mean, it's just good to see these characters return. And, before I cut this video off, I'd just like to say, I'm pretty much sure now we'll see Huang or Huang or whatever, or Huang or whatever his name is. Yang or I forget that dude with the sword I really believe that all the characters for Soul Calibur 1, 2, 3 and maybe 4 we'll probably even see Setsuka and Hildy because there's talks that we may see Hildy but I just this is just a little quick down quick breakdown guys my little thoughts about the trailer I'm not the biggest fan of the both of them so that's why you're not going to get no in-depth explanation from me or in-depth talk about them because I'm not their biggest fans but I mean, I already told you, I already got the characters I wanted, and you saw when I did my thing about Keelix, so. Hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys enjoy this. Hit the sub button. Also, hit the notification bell if you're new to the channel, so anytime I upload or anytime I do live stream, you guys will know, because if you don't hit the notification bell, nine times out of ten, you won't know. So, appreciate it, guys. Hit the, hit the jump. Fball Jew. Also, follow me on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Fball underscore 50. That's why I'll start doing my big single player playthrough. So, peace out, guys. Enjoy your day.